Hey guys, welcome to Force Induction Studios. My name is Chris and today we are doing something that I'm dreading just a little bit and I'll explain why. Um, we are installing the high pressure fuel pump. Uh, it's a spool um, 150 and I actually got it from a guy on Facebook that purchased it and didn't use it. So shout out to him. Um, actually this is the second time I'm doing pretty much the same project because I installed a port injection and it's pretty much the same route. You take the same way to get to the port injection uh, install as you are doing this fuel pump install. So um, to make a long story short, we're going to be taking off the intake manifold and uh, the fuel pump is actually under the intake manifold. I don't know why I did that, but on B58s they're actually far away, very easy to uh, obtain. So let's take off the intake manifold and I'll show you guys some stuff involved with that because it's not so easy. It's easy, but not so easy. And the reason why I say that is because of all the wiring you have to take off. You literally have to take off all the wiring from the right side of the motor. Um, to make things easier, you need tape and a Sharpie. Yes, we're gonna pretty much mark what goes with what. There she is, guys. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at these. This is where the long one goes with the pull out. The top double, so it's got double um, releases, double release. First T uh, um, over the top clamp, second and third. So just keep in mind, this is not you know the easiest thing to take off, but here it is. Pretty good. And I'm going to show you why it's so difficult to get these out. So this is how it's plugged in. It's plugged in here and it's closed. Now you're going to hit this button. See this button right here? And then flip the bar over. When you go to push them in, I'll go over this again later, but you're going to push them in and they're only going to go so much. As you close this, it's going to kind of pull itself in and you've got to make sure it clicks and locks in. All right, so this is number one, easy enough.
All right guys, so we're knee deep into this uh, fuel pump. I installed it in minutes, and then I come to find out, um, I have a, so the fuel line comes through like this. This part goes to, um, uh, this part here goes to your actual car's uh, fuel line underneath it, right? Then you got your filter, then you got this part here, which goes to your high pressure. So it kind of runs like this in the car. Well, this side, I need to splice in a um, pretty much a Y to my port injection because I have a port injection in this car. So I have my regular injectors and my port injectors, uh, a total of 12 injectors. Well, apparently Spool doesn't sell this piece that would go between them, which I don't, I don't know, kind of weird that you wouldn't sell that. I mean, if you can make these right here, if you can make these connectors, why can't you make a T, right? So I go to my local uh, like performance shop, um, which uh, is Forward Performance and Matthews, and he sent me to his parts guy. And uh, we're gonna throw this out pretty much. This is not gonna be used for us. And we're gonna make our own. So it's gonna come between these two tubes, which is a really high quality um, AeroQuip um, fuel line, which is already on the port injection. This is what they use for the port injection, uh, where it goes to the port injection. So, and then we got some fittings, which is gonna make this work out. So I'll show you guys here what we got. We got a T, and in the T we're gonna have a barb that goes this way, a barb that goes this way, and these are all pressure fittings, guys. These these hold. The guys told me that. Um, well, they all said, once these go on, they don't come off. Um, some people put like a band around them, but really that's just overkill, especially for a low pressure fuel fuel system, which is what I have right here. And then from the high pressure, we have a different um, high pressure hose. All right. So here's what we got. We got one side here, which is going to make our far side. That's going to go to the fuel pump. We got a T. And then we got the other side that's gonna go down to our um, inline, all the way down to our fuel tank. So we just replicated that cable and put it in our own T. And uh, here we'll have a, a connector as well on this side. So pretty much we made our own. And then we're gonna splice in with that barb into the port injection. So I'll show you guys how I do this. This is a pressure fitting. You could probably push the heck out of this and get it in there. Uh, lubrication probably helps a lot. So um, I was told by uh, both Bradley's and um, uh, our, my performance shop for performance to just put a little bit of, of oil on here and, and stick it through. Won't come back out. So let's start with that. All right, guys. So we got the good old Amazon Basics 5, 540. The stuff that beat Liquid Molly and um, Mobile One in a test. Uh, I'm sure you guys seen the video. If you haven't, check it out. It's pretty good oil. This oil company has been around for a really long time. So if you haven't heard of them, um, which is the maker of the, who makes the oil, um, that's okay. But they've been around for a long time. So we're going to pressure that in. Just push. So as far back as we can. One's done. So pretty easy. And it's all the way tucked into the edge. So, good. Now, cut, taking this back out is halfway impossible. So, unless you cut it. So, that's part one. This is what we got right here, guys. So, part one is done. That goes to the spool inline filter. So, you guys can see that will just match up right here. Okay? So, now, if we match up our K, uh, lines, we're going to need a T in the middle. And uh, that, that's where our T comes in. So to put a, our T together, we're gonna need another barb, straight barb, into this side. You can actually uh, warm these pipes up, I mean these tubes up a little bit and it helps you too. But oil is gonna work just as good. Um, and you don't have to worry about working too fast. So we're good. There we go. Pretty happy with that. So this, this which does not have it spliced, 
is our new splice. Same size, pretty much. Exactly the same size with our splice in the middle. Now, we can get our whole build going. So, just to show you guys how it's gonna look. I'll tighten everything up on the car, in the car, but, so we got, this line goes to the fuel tank run underneath the car. This, this goes to the T. This goes to the T here. And this part is gonna go to our high pressure fuel pump. So once everything's in, you can pretty much make it out how it's gonna go. High pressure, uh, port injection, filter, and the car supply, which is a quick connect. And I have the fitting that goes in here on the actual pipe itself there, which I'll show you later. So let's get everything tight uh, for the most part, because it's gonna be easier to tighten it here. And then we could take it to the car and do the, just tighten up our port and we're done. That's it. Okay. All right guys, so that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Make sure you guys can see that. I'm pretty darn happy with the way that looks. Look at the way the line goes down. Everything's good. All right guys, so under the car, here's our regular fuel line connector. There's our uh, fuel line collector we just threw under the car. We're gonna literally put them together here. Lighten up. Very nice. All right guys, so just finished the fuel pump with the modification of the fuel lines. This is the T we took off, we cut off of that, um, that, that piping there. So overall, you know, it's a fairly uh, in-depth thing. You have to take off the intake manifold, all your wiring pretty much to get to where the fuel pump is uh, and easy access. And then um, I ended up doing it four times total on and off, so two each. Uh, because I had a buddy come over, the car was apart, I had to move the car, we did some work on his car, and then took it apart again, put it back together, and here we are now. And it's not tough, it's not hard, but it is a lot of stuff going on. So you gotta take off your intake manifold, all that wiring, um, you know, your, your, uh, your charge pipe top needs to come off, and then you have the room to work in there. Then we did the modification on the hosing, uh, made that T, um, since it was not something they provide and then put it all back together. So overall, it's not an easy project, but it is a DIY if you want to make it a DIY. Uh, I'm gonna cut this video up a little bit so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me do all this stuff, but um, for the most part, um, the best thing I can tell you guys is um, you can do it. Um, it's gonna take some time, maybe some help. I did it by myself a couple times, and uh, here it is. So I'm gonna start tuning, getting all that ready. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next video which is going to become uh, more tuning, faster, uh, you know, eighth mile, faster quarter mile, and we'll come back with the results. So thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.